Hey guys, Matt Patrician here with Redhead Equipment. Today we're going to show you quickly how to set up a work condition. Um, I've just fired up the sprayer here and we're going to go over that quickly. So from your main screen after you fire it up, this is, you'll default onto your run one screen. From there we'll, we'll hit back, work condition, and in the top right there you can see we have a work condition. We also need an implement before we start that. And if you go under lay, layer, we'll need product one and container one. So I'm gonna go over how we set up a product quickly in this video. Toolbox, scroll over to the product. And there at the top right, left hand, we see our product name. I've already entered one, but we'll go ahead and enter a new one. I'm gonna call it, what I do is call it water, because I typically don't change products to track different products. But if you're in wanting to track different products, you can come in here and change your products based on what you're spraying, whether it's Roundup, Liberty, etc. Today we'll put in water. Oops. Enter. And then we can go down the form. It's a liquid, generic is usage. Default app rate, I always go to five, but that can be depending on what you want to spray. Delta is one, min app rate will go to 3.5, and max, I always go to 15. That way it will not alarm at you if you're outside of those ranges, if you bump it up to say 10 without changing a product. So if you're not changing a product, that's one way just to get rid of that. You can see all the other issues here, your package size, scale factor, product density, EPA number, manufacturer, restricted use, posting, etc., etc. These are all options if you wanted to track that information. Thank you for paying attention to us with the product setup. Tune in to the next video where we go under container setup and more into the work condition.